Today we are going to use the Huawei Puta 70 Ultra as a computer in a minimalistic setup. We are only using this display with one single USB Type-C cable that connects to our phone. Now it doesn't matter if it's to stream multimedia content like Netflix, YouTube or any other service to a bigger screen to play some games or simply work on text or a spreadsheet document. This is a awesome mobile setup that we can just grab it, put it on a bag and just go with us. Now, if you are looking for a setup that we can use conventional displays, TVs or projectors, I will leave the link down below. We have done that particular test. It did work well, but we required to add a USB hub so that we could connect USB devices and also HDMI displays. Today we are going to keep it as simple as possible just using one USB Type-C cable but we are also going to add a mouse and a keyboard so that we can get more productivity. I'm using the Inocean 15 inches display. I will leave the link down below so that you can check it out. It is an OLED screen with 400 nits of brightness, resolution up to full HD, 1920 by 1080 at 60 hertz, one millisecond response time, and HDR support. It weights roughly two kilos, so more or less the same as a laptop. It has this really nice aluminium body here and features a magnetic rear stand. It can connect both via USB Type-C, which is what we are using, and also micro HDMI. In terms of the colors and contrast, they are just excellent. As you can see, the brightness is really awesome, although only 400 nits. I don't feel the need for more. We just need to be mindful of the red light shining on it because it is a glossy panel. Now in my opinion it's perfect for this kind of setup where I want to have a fully portable configuration that fits into my backpack and with just a phone and a display such as this I can grab them and just go to the park or go to my office or get some work done at home completely portable. To activate the desktop mode here we just need to connect the cable to the display, connect the, the other end of the cable to our mobile phone and then there will be a prompt and we just need to enable desktop mode. Actually we just need to press yes. We can use the phone screen as a touchpad which works for many tasks but in my opinion to be more productive I recommend at least a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse which was what I did pair and in this setup since we don't have a docking station if we want to use any gamepad, it also needs to be Bluetooth. Now we have seen the desktop mode before, it's really friendly, well designed in my opinion. It's not behind the Samsung DeX, which is one of the best desktop modes on the mobile market. But here on Huawei, I do not miss any features. On the left, we will find the start menu with the installed apps. And of course, we can install more apps if we need, and we will need and we will want. On the bottom right corner, there's a lot of info. There's the system info, notifications, battery level, the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, volume control and options for taking screenshots or more interesting, recording the screen which probably you have seen already here on this video which is also perfect to create some tutorials with your gameplay or if you want to share any tutorial with the content that you have on this screen it's also really really cool. I did play around with a few games like Angry Birds, also played Asphalt 9, I did play around with YouTube for a change uh, Netflix if we want or any other service but I did those tests just to feel if it was running great and it was. Now if we want to do some work we can with the keyboard especially we will be a lot faster and the experience so far has been great. So if you're looking for a minimalistic setup then this is a really cool suggestion and on the test today we are using the Huawei Pura 70 Ultra. So if you know anyone that already has one or is thinking about acquiring one don't forget to share this video don't forget to leave that thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you on the next one